guys, it's Kaz, and welcome to the second episode of Geek Galaxy Plays Mirror's Edge in depth. Today I will be playing the prologue to Mirror's Edge, but let's not dilly dally anymore and get right into it. So we will be constantly hearing Merc on the comm, who is guiding us through the levels. Well, along with the conveniently placed items that just happen to be painted red. But anyway, back to Merc. His full name is Mercury, but he is referred to as Merc throughout the whole game. While it is unknown exactly how Merc became involved in the runner business, he eventually became well known and favorited as one of the industry's best runners and also trainers. While returning to one of his hideouts, Merc came across a 16 year old girl, Faye, who was attempting to steal his possessions. Instead of reporting her to the Blues, he offered her food and shelter as, and a job as a runner. Nice work, Faye. You're making good time. Celeste's almost there. Just keep heading towards the comms tower. Give her the bag and she'll take it from there. <laughs> but there's no more characters we come across at the moment, so to the commentary. Now we just bash our way through this red door and make our way up this corridor to access an air vent shaft. Which is painted red. And we make our way through this air vent shaft and drop out on the other side. Now the police will have spotted you, so quickly dart up these stairs. And then now we turn right and exit through another red door. What the hell's happening? I can hear gunshots and that bird seems a little too curious. On her way. Get your ready. Now make your way over another large gap, making sure to be careful to roll at the end. Yeah. Now run to the other side of the building where this red block is. Blue's ahead. You're gonna have to get through. Now I find this hint really helpful for most of the game. Most of the time, with only a few exceptions, don't try to fight the cops, just run away. Your outgun and running is your best weapon. Now make your way up this flight of stairs and then up a ladder. Get to Celeste. There are more blues on the way. Hey, show me the bag. Huh. Okay, I got it right here. Okay, they're playing rough cell. I'll be fine. Get out of here. We just need to find our way off this building, but we do it in one of the most dramatic of ways. You gotta get off that roof, mate. Don't care how you do it, just do it. Back 
Say again, Officer Connors. Going to see Pope. Robert Pope. Taking a statement on that break-in last week? Anyways, it's uh, 56 West Arlen Drive. Tell Lieutenant Miller. Copy that. I'll relay the message, Officer Connors. Thanks. Connors out. Hello, sis. You there, kiddo? Hey, Mark. I bet you're listening to the chatter. You know me. We'll try and get some sleep. It's been a rough day. I'm gonna put the word out tomorrow. See why those blues got itchy trigger fingers. I'll drop by later, okay? And don't chuck that pizza. I like the topping for Matured. sure. Yeah, I know. See you, Mark. Shots fired. Repeat, shots fired. All units proceed to 56 West Arlen Drive immediately. Proceed with caution. Kate! Where are you? Kate, where are you? Hey. Merc. You off? Just get on comms and track me. This seems to be the end of our second Mirror's Edge video. If you enjoyed it, rate it thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. But for now, Kaz out.